everyone, and welcome to the webinar today, Take the 90-Day Challenge with MAPS coach, coaches Craig Rieger and Andrea Morrison. Uh, this webinar is being recorded, and the recording will be sent out uh, today following the webinar. If you have any questions, please type them into the questions box located in your webinar taskbar. Following the webinar, if you have any questions, you can email those to fasttrack at kw.com. That's F-A-S-T-T-R-A-C-K at kw.com. And that's all for me. So, Craig and Andrea, y'all can take it away. Hey, Paige. Thanks so much. It's Craig Rieger here, your MAPS coach calling from Portland, Oregon. Hi there, and this is Andrea Morrison. Good to talk to you guys today. We're super excited about our upcoming course in today's webinar. So, our goal today is to kind of give you a sneak preview of what you would experience in the eight-week course of 90 listings in 90 days. Uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedules to learn about the program and be part of the MAPS community. Uh, 90 and 90 is a challenge that Andrew and I went on what, a good five years ago. Yeah, it's been a bit. <clears throat> and during that time, we really focused in our first 90-90 challenge of developing the, 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 the skills, the tools, and the habits to go from agents who were listing about a house a week to listing uh, a house a day, mm -hmm. literally, for 90 days in a row. It was immediate, it was fast, it was painful, it was exciting. We went all in, and over the last five years, uh, through the helps of our MAPS coaches and being in Gary Keller's group, and of course the amazing support of MAPS and Dinah Kokoska, uh, we've continued to refine those systems, and we're gonna give you a few of our strategies today. This is truly just a couple strategies of, of dozens that we will be going over throughout the program. So Andrew, you ready to get started? I'm ready, I'm excited. Well, so let's, Paige, do you want to move to the next slide? We're going to start by talking about rent bows. Craig, what's a rent bow? Um, well, let me step back. What's a for sale by owner? What's a FISBO? Okay, well, that's going to be somebody who's listing and selling a house by themselves. Right, so as agents, as Dinah Kukoska teaches us in bold, we like that group because they've raised their hand. Uh, they're saying, hey, I, I have a need to sell property. And as we learn in bold, it's a, it's a wonderful group to target. Mm -hmm. So what's a rent bow? A rent bow is somebody who's decided to rent their property themselves. Makes sense. They haven't hired a property manager. Uh, they've likely placed an ad in a local print publication or they print uh, likely placed an ad on Craigslist. Yep. And they're, they're renting the property themselves. So we don't want to be in the rental business. We want to be in the get listing business. That was the goal. So you might be asking, why is this Why is this a viable option? Well, number one is I wanted to start today's webinar with something a little different than maybe you've seen in the past. And number two, it can be, it can be an <clears throat> excellent option. Uh, there's very little, if zero, competition with it. And there's a tremendous amount of listing business to immediately pull. So let me explain why. Okay. So, Andrea, when you and Gus purchased your rental property a couple years ago, mm -hmm. your first, congratulations, did you hire a property manager or did you uh, – uh, how did you how'd you rent it? I put it up on Craigslist and Zillow and hoped somebody would contact me. Awesome. So just as we described, that's pretty typical. Here's what we find is if every single day I go through Craigslist and my local print publications and I find people that just did exactly what you and your husband did, you're renting your own property out, I'll often find people that are really discouraged. Mm -hmm. And what does that look like is ring, ring. Hello. <laughs> Hey, is your, your property uh, still for rent? Yes. Yeah. Right? And then, and then what comes out of it, if we start talking more, is that you're super frustrated because last night you were late to pick up the kids from soccer practice because you thought you were meeting a prospective renter over at the property and he or she never showed up. Did that happen to you and Gus when you were showing the property? It sure did. It was really frustrating. Yeah. Or what about if you're a landlord and you're renting out your own property and you get noticed and your tenants move out <clears throat> and you go over to check on the property after they've moved out and they've destroyed it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have we ever seen that happen? Absolutely. Yeah, and right, so as a landlord, you can get super frustrated throughout this process. Right. So all of a sudden, these agents call up and use the script that we're about to give you on the next page, and you're like, you know what? Maybe instead of renting it, now is a good time to sell. Because it's a great time to sell in this market. <laughs> it is a great time to sell. We know in most parts of the country, uh, listings are difficult to, to achieve, mm -hmm. um, or, or at least they're few and far between. And this is just one more source to get your armchair sure. So why don't we go to the next page and we'll actually give you the script. Perfect. So I'll just start. Uh, ring, ring. Hello. Uh, hi, is this Andrea? Yes. Hey, Andrea, this is Craig Rieger with the Craig Rieger Group at Keller Williams Realty. Hey, I just saw your property for rent on Craigslist. I'm calling to ask if you've considered selling this property in this hot real estate market. 
So I could say yes, and you would set in a listing appointment. Absolutely. Or? Um, no. No, you're not. Mm. Okay, great. Well, thank you for thinking about that. You're obviously a savvy investor. Hey, we have a team of five full-time buyer's agents looking for the very best deals in the city seven days a week. If we find an amazing opportunity, are you interested in acquiring more rental properties? Sure. Who doesn't like being called a savvy investor? Right, it feels good. <clears throat> so this is a very direct, very direct, very on-point script. Ring, ring. Hey, this is Craig with KW, and I just saw your property for rent on Craigslist, and I'm calling to ask if you've considered selling your home in this hot real estate market. Now, what we'll often get with that is somebody saying, well, how much money could you get me? Sure, yeah. Right, so then you're moving, how, okay, I'll ask you, how much money can I think of you get me? Well, you know what, that's a great question, Andrea. The reason I'm calling is we have a shortage of inventory and an abundance of buyers. Okay. So let me repeat, in your market, we have a shortage of inventory and an abundance of buyers, mm -hmm. which means the few properties are going up for sale are red hot, often seeing multiple offers. It's an incredible time to sell. Why don't we do this? Why don't we schedule 20, 30 minutes together? I've got some time available on Thursday at 1 or on Friday at 3. And, and we'll go over, I'll see the property, and I can show you what it's selling for. If it makes sense, we move forward. And if not, hey, you already got it for rent on Craigslist. You can continue down that path. That sounds fair. Awesome. So that's a direction I'll normally go. Mm -hmm. Or, of course, there's a group that says, no way, man. I just bought this property two weeks ago. I just bought it last month. Or, hey, this thing's a cash cow. I love owning it. So then we go to script number two. Thank you for thinking about it, that. You're obviously a savvy investor. We have a team of five full-time buyer's agents looking for the very best deals in the city seven days a week. So when a repo says, no, I don't want to sell, we immediately turn it and say, well, great, you're a savvy investor. Mm -hmm. If I can find you more great investment properties, would you be interested in looking at them? Yeah. Yeah, it works. Great. So now, mind you, the course, the course we're promoting here is 90 listings in 90 days. Yeah, make no mistake, Gary Keller teaches us in the MREA that when you get marketable listings, you should get at least two additional sales off of it. And some of those sales become buyers. Right. Right? When when Gary, when we look at the triangle of the MREA, it's it's leads for listings and then leverage. Mm -hmm. And listings on our own are leverage. So in this case, we're using this rep bow as leverage to build a big investor list. Yep. Now, how can a big investor list help us get more listings down the road? Well, it's pretty simple. Let's say a few months from now or a few weeks from now, I have an opportunity for a listing that could be a great rental property. Maybe it's a starter home or a starter condo or a small home close to a university. Mm -hmm, okay. well, hey, Andrea, one of the reasons that, and let's just pretend you're the seller of that property. Okay. Andrea, I know you're interviewing multiple agents. Mm -hmm. I brought something over with me today. Here's a list of 150 investors in the general Portland market that have raised their hands. They already own homes. Like these are proven investors. And every one of these folks has agreed, if I find an investment property, they're interested in knowing more about it. So when you sign a listing contract with me, I've got 150 buyers already that have said, I want to know more about this property. Um, so is that a great reason to list with me, considering the other folks that you're interviewing now? Yeah, absolutely. Right? So we're double any more properties. We're using it as leverage to get more listings. But i got to tell you, this repo script is a killer. Now, what you might be wondering is, how do we find these? And how do we get in touch with them? Right. Well, we literally scour the Craigslist every single morning. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes about 20, 30 minutes. We go through, we identify any new properties for rent. You can often tell whether it's a property manager that's trying to rent it or a rent bow, just, just like you and your husband did. Mm -hmm. And the ones that you and your husband, we can email them often. We can reach them through Craigslist. Uh, we can look up their phone numbers. Uh, often when we find a property that's for rent, uh, in our uh, uh, tax records, it will show where the owner of that property lives. Heck, we've even gone and door knocked these. Sure. Again, this is a tool to secure business with very little competition. It does take a little bit of upfront work. Uh, if you've got a team, this is a great project for somebody on your team to do. If you don't, it's a few minutes of upfront work. You find where they live. You find their phone number. You find their email or one or all of those three, and you've got a potential to list a property that nobody else in your market is going after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're frustrated. I can tell you, my wife and I have a handful of rental properties. We get frustrated a lot. Renters don't show up. Renters trash the property. And all of a sudden, somebody calls saying it's a hot market. I can maybe get you multiple offers. Uh, we're going to pay attention to that it's phone enticing. call. It's enticing. It's very enticing to go ahead and sell and take that money as opposed to continuing with this with this rental path that's being a pain for you. I love it. Now, this is a quick webinar. We'll go way more in depth on this in the actual 90 and 90, but we want to give you a taste of how this works. 
Uh, Paige, why don't we go to the next slide? Okay, great. All right, call your sphere. Yeah, right. Like this is this is the number one thing we talk about. When Gary Keller, when we were at uh, family reunion last week, what was the very first panel that Gary op opened with? Mm -hmm. Right. We had Lord a lot. We had Chris Suarez. We had Peter. All of them were talking about having a big database and building a, a big business off your database. And I want to add in, we're kind of lumping Sphere and past clients together. So that's one audience that we would attack with what we're going to talk about next. I might even call it a different name. I might call it your Mets. Sure. Yeah. Right? In MR MREA, we talk about our MET database and our not MET database. So these are the METs. These are people we worked with at Nike before we are in real estate. These are folks you went to college with. These are people that are part of your Bunko group, right? These are your past buyers and sellers. Mm -hmm. These are the METs in your world. And, and I've heard Gary many times share, hey, guys, you should put uh, Angie's list out of business. Right. What's the first thing Angie's list is I'm going to go on to Angie's list because I need a carpet cleaner. I'm going to go on to Angie's list uh, because my gutters are overflowing. Or I'm going to go on to Angie's list because I want to remodel my bathroom. There's like as real estate agents, don't you have all these these folks? Don't you have these these businesses at a high level that, that you have relationships with? Why would your sphere and your Mets ever need to go to Angie's list when you're the local expert on the ground and you have long-term relationships with these people. So taking that coaching from Gary and from Diana into account, uh, we started making this a monthly call touch to our database. So Andrew, you wanna kind of walk through and you'll be the agent, I'll be one of the Mets? Absolutely, Now yeah. this is an actual touch that we used last month. Yeah. Okay, we had phenomenal results and we're able to get a handful of listings from using the script. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, your market may not have the, the service that we're calling on. Don't worry about that. The premise of it is here, we're going to give you some great scripts and tools to get in touch with your database. Right, exactly. And also, you'll hear this in the script in a minute, but one of the companies that we used in order to put into this script is basically just someone who we use and refer to all the time. And so it's very we had a great relationship with them and them able to offer this coupon. So Paige, go ahead and advance to the next slide. This script is a little bit long, so it's going to be a couple of slides and we can just stay on this one for a minute and talk about it. But let's just give you a call. So ring ring. Hello. <laughs> Hi, is this Greg? Yeah, sure is. Craig, this is Andrea with the Rieger Group at Keller Williams Realty. Oh, hey, how are you guys doing? Really good. How are you? Awesome. Thank you. Great. Well, hey, as a past client of ours, we just wanted to personally call and wish you a happy new year. Again, we use this in January, so if you need to alter that, alter that. Yeah, happy new year, you guys. What's up? <laughs> Thanks. Um, as a thank you for your business and friendship, and looking outside, it's pretty rainy here today. It's, it's Oregon. Right? It happens a lot. But we negotiated a great discount with Quality Roofing, which is a top local roofing company, and they're offering $50 off any gutter cleaning and $500 off a full roof, roof replacement just for our clients. Um, could you benefit from this offer? Uh, you know what? That's funny. As I was getting the newspaper this morning and our gutters were overflowing. I could. Oh, oh good. Awesome. Well, this is the email address I have for you. Would that be the best one for me to send it to? Yeah, that's it. Great. And um, so there's a couple of different scripts here, but let's just go ahead and advance to the next one. So while we're talking, Craig, do you have any housing goals for 2018 to buy, sell, or invest in real estate that we should know about? You know, we've talked about maybe looking for a bigger property. Okay. Um, we're not really serious about it, Andrea. Tell Craig, like, we love him. We'll keep it in mind, but we're we're good right now. Okay, no problem. Um, well, as you know, we're always here for you, and we wish you the best and a prosperous new year. Awesome. Thanks so much. Great. So that's an easy one. Of course, if they say no, we're going to offer it to if they know of anybody else that could benefit from it. Um, if they say yes, that they're interested in buy, selling, or investing, and we want to talk further, this is a great opening to dig in and start talking about the market. It can kind of go in a bunch of different ways. And we're coming from contribution in the beginning, so it's always a very welcomed call. I'll be really clear. Like, we live this. And... Does every single person we call and offer a $50 discount for gutter cleaning say, hey, great, I want to sell my home? No. Here's what does happen. We have that great call. And by the way, we're calling everybody because we're time blocking and lead generating two, three hours a day. Folks, that will be part of this program. We're going to help you with the mindset and the tools to do it. Yeah, at the end of the day, to grow your business is going to take doing some, doing some lead gen. Mm -hmm. We make these calls. Here's what you get three, four days later. Ring, ring. Hello? Oh, hi, um, Andrea. This is... Uh, Carl and 
hey, I work at Nike and they've just relocated me to Arizona and I need to sell my house. And I had my sister over last night for dinner and we broke the news to them that we're moving to Arizona. And my sister said that, that you guys are the best real estate team in Portland. Wow, that's awesome. Now, who's the sister? Who I just called three days ago yeah. with this script. Right, the sister is the person you called three days ago because what this does is, is when, when we look at the 12 to 2 ratio of working our METs and the MREA, it doesn't mean for every 12 people in our database, two of them are going to sell this year. What it means is for every 12 people in our database that we touch at least 33 times, you'll get two closed transactions. So when you're calling with a script and giving an item of value, whether that's a window cleaner or a gutter cleaner, or potentially it's, it's an AC tune-up as, as spring and summer are coming, and you're giving this item of value from your company, in our case, the Craig Rieger Group at Keller Williams, well, all of a sudden, three, four days later, they're at the coffee cooler, and somebody in their office says, hey, we need to sell our house. We're, we need a bigger home. Because you're top of mind and you just hung up with them, you're going to get that listing referral. Mm -hmm. This is a reality. We do it every single day. And it absolutely works. Yep. Yep. So the point is we're going to give you dozens of scripts and the tools behind it, like dozens and dozens and dozens of scripts, and the tools and the mindset behind it to grow a massive listing business very quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to help you become this Angie's list of choice, which is what we just did here, offering the roof. Well, we're like getting them in a habit, too. When we're literally every month we're calling, mm -hmm. uh, what, what do we call it within February? It was a doggy daycare. Doggy daycare, yeah. Yeah, right? Every month we're giving them a new service from somebody that's already in our vendor list. Uh, it won't take too long to train them, hey, when you need something, you call us. Yep. And that's putting Angie's list out of business, as Gary recommended. Paige, let's go to the next slide. It might be a couple slides, actually. Yeah, one more. It's going to say bonus script. Perfect. So this is another great script. We have listed, I don't know, 500 plus houses from this script. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a so circle many. And continue to list off of this script. Yeah, I think we listed one on Friday. Mm -hmm. Maybe we've listed one today while we're sitting in this room. <laughs> it's consistency. And, Andrea, what's circle prospecting? Circle prospecting is just <laughs> identifying an area geographically and calling within that area to see who wants to um, sell their house. Own. Yeah. Yeah, so basically you find a target, 123 Main Street, Portland, Oregon, and that target is often just listed or just sold. Mm -hmm. And then you draw a circle around it, and you reach all the people inside that circle, mm -hmm. which are neighbors to the home you just listed or sold, and ask them if they want to sell their property. Right. So ring, ring. Hello. Or, sorry, one other, is it might be a neighborhood, right? A lot of the folks we're coaching through maps around the country are sharing they have low inventory right now. Is that true? Absolutely. Low inventory. So in other words, I'll ask an agent, hey, do you have a great buyer right now that would buy a property? Like they're ready to buy if the right home was for sale and agents will consistently say. Always, yes. Yeah. Right. So here's a script to use for them. Ring, okay. ring. Hello. Hi, is this Andrea? This is her. Hey, this is Craig Rager. I'm with Keller Williams Realty. I'm calling because I'm working with some buyers who are looking to move to your neighborhood. And as you probably know, virtually everything on the market is already sold. So I promised my buyers I'd call around the neighborhood. Uh, have you thought about buying? I mean, have you thought about selling your home in this hot real estate market? Uh, no, not really. Do you have any friends or neighbors who have thought about selling their property? Good question. I don't think so. Maybe the people down the street. All right, have a good day. Click. Ring, ring. Hello. Oh, hi. Is this Susie? <laughs> yep. Hey, Susie. This is Craig Rieger. I'm with Keller Williams Realty. I'm calling around the neighborhood because I'm working with some buyers who are looking to move to your neighborhood. As you probably know, virtually everything on the market's already sold. So I promised them I'd call around. Have you thought about selling in this hot? Right? Do you get it? Like, if I call 200 people in this neighborhood and I use that script, mm -hmm. I'm going to find listings. Yep. Now, is that listing going to absolutely be a perfect fit for my buyer? Nope. Maybe. Maybe there's a chance, but and maybe not. No. But it's legit. Like my buyer said, they want to live in the Bonnie Slope School District. I'm going to teach you guys how to call every single person up in the Bonnie Slope School District or whatever district it is that your buyers want to live in. Now, if it is a good fit for my buyer, awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring them over, sell that property. But if not, what have I found by using the script when somebody says, "Sure, I'd sell." Listing. I just found somebody that raised their hand saying, "I want to sell." Mm -hmm. Now I just need to go over, show them I'm the best vehicle to help them reach their goals and get a signed listing contract and get it on the market. Absolutely. And respectfully explain to them, hey, I really do have real buyers because I do. Right. Just you're a two-story house. They wanted a one-story house. Yeah. I can bring them over if you want, but I know they want a two-story house. Right. 
this is a deadly script when used consistently. Really, really good. And I think what's great is you can never run out of people to call. Like, there is always an area left to call, left to talk to people. Whether you have a buyer looking in that area, you just sold, just listed, it's an area you want to do more business in. It doesn't matter. You can just tweak the script so it works for you. And there's millions of people out there that you can call. Absolutely. Paige, can you go to the next slide, please? And also what we have her, I just want to thank Paige. Her and MAPS do a phenomenal job supporting us and the clients as coaches. So thank you. Thanks, Paige. All right. So thank what you. is this course about 90 listings in 90 days? The first thing I'm going to say, probably the most common question we ask, is this a good, a good course for teams or individual agents or new agents? And what's the answer, Andrea? Good course for everybody. Anybody that wants to have a listing-based business, blow through ceilings of achievement, and reach unreachable goals, this is the right course. And it doesn't need to be 90 listings in 90 days. That was our challenge. That's what worked for us, and that's where we were at as a team. If you're on day one, it might be I want to list three homes in the next 30 days. It might be I want to list 10 homes in the next 90 days. It doesn't matter. It's whatever is your challenge. We're just giving you the tools and, and concepts to be able to hit that. Yeah, we've had agents go through our course who have successfully listed 200 homes in 90 days. We've had agents, as Andrea just said, that got licensed yesterday, signed up for our course, and the next day they're able to list, uh, you know, four or five homes in their first month in real estate. Mm -hmm. So this is about setting big goals, having the mindset to overcome the barriers and break through those ceilings, and then specifically having the tools to break through them. Now, another common question we're asked is, hey, I've got bold coming to my market center in the near future. You know, should I, should I wait for this or wait for bold? So the number one answer is never wait for bold. Bold is always amazing. Go to it. Uh, we find that this course is a wonderful complement to bold. Right? Go ahead. Well, I'm just going to say so much of what we do is based off of bold, and we've just maybe expanded or adapted or added some stuff into it. But Bold is the basis of so much of our business. Well, you and I have been through Bold combined 20 times between us. Mm -hmm. So yeah. a lot of Bold, yeah, this course is specific to just the listing side of the business. In Bold, they do, uh, uh, you're required to have 20 contacts every day in Bold. Well, 90 and 90, we're going to be helping you get those 20 contacts as well. Mm -hmm. So let's read the slide. This course will arm you with the models to organize the sales team, uh, the scripts and prospecting systems for listings. You'll get extra buyers, right? What happens when you dominate the listing business? Buyers flow in. Absolutely. The accountability, the tracking strategies, uh, role-playing techniques that will absolutely transform your business. Uh, what questions do we have? I know you can type in any questions. I haven't seen any pop up. Paige, have you seen any on your end? All right. Um, well, maybe. Yeah. Go ahead. Please type any questions into the questions box located in your webinar taskbar. We love questions. <laughs> maybe while they're typing or thinking about it, Paige, you want to go to the next slide? All right. So we are going to be launching. Wednesday, March 14th at 2 p.m. Central, which is 12 p.m. Pacific time, our time. Um, this is an eight-week eight course. It's going to be one hour each week. Um, we do record everything that we do, so if for some reason the time doesn't work for you, you can listen to the recording afterwards. Um, but all car calls are going to be live. We, could, we do questions, answers, all of that kind of stuff and go through a lot of what we talked about today more in depth, along with probably a dozen plus more strategies to be, be able to get sellers. Yeah, I kind of look at like a buffet, mm -hmm. which is like, hey, this week we're going to have the chicken, the steak, and the pork chops. And you're hungry, and we're going to have these awesome and served up for you, and you can decide what you like. And then next week we're going to have a new buffet. And in this case, the buffet is going to be, here's our three top strategies that we're going to coach you on to go and dominate the listings in your local market. And then the following week, we'll touch back on those. But we're going to give you two, three, four more strategies. And that's going to go throughout the whole program. Mm -hmm. Now, specifically, the program is going to start with mindset and getting in, in the right place to, to have these big goals. I see a question. What do we got here? Where do you get numbers for circle prospecting? Uh, it's a great question. Thank you. Uh, we've used Cole, Vulcan7, Mojo. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Uh, there's the so many. The phone book. The phone book. They still have those. Um, title companies can pull numbers for you in certain areas. That's an easy one. 
Yeah, all of this we cover in the course. It's it's do we always find perfect phone numbers? Nope. nope. Uh, are all companies equal and in, in, in the quality of the numbers? Nope. Uh, will we give you a lot of tools where you don't have to find numbers? Absolutely. But yeah, you're right. We will need to find some numbers. Uh, we've used Cole. We've had good success with them. Vulcan, Mojo, all the above. Well, and one of the things that, and we'll talk about this more in the course, is to lead with revenue. So we're going to teach you ways to find them for rel either free or in it very inexpensive, and then how you can build on that as you have money. Yeah, good point. I love that, right? We don't want anybody spending additional money up front until you master the mindset and the tools. Do we have another question? Uh, no, someone said awesome, though. Awesome. Thank you. Well, awesome to you, Barbara. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So uh, total cost of the course is uh, $298, which breaks down to $149 a month, uh, which breaks down to, I don't know, it's like $25 a phone call or something. I don't think my math is right, but it's pretty close there. Good deal. Yeah, and, and as Andrew said, it is recorded, uh, yet we really do recommend the live because then you have an opportunity to interact with Andrew and I, your two MAPS coaches. Uh, we've probably taught this course between us either live or through this program uh, well over 250 times, maybe more, yeah. maybe 350 times. Uh, we are excited about your growth. And by the way, and I mean this of all the times a year to do a 90-90 challenge, this is it, guys. Like, it's mid-March, spring is here, seasonality, the winter is behind On us. Side. Yeah, you, this is the time of year to crush the listing business, and we're going to help you dominate 2018 and beyond. So, Paige, is there anything else you want to share, or do we wrap up? Um, so, I did want to add that today is the last day um, for our family reunion special that we were doing, um, and you can save 20% off if you register today for 90 listings in 90 days. I put the link to register in the chat box. So you can click that link and use the code FR2018 uh, to save 25% off. And today is the last day. So tonight at midnight, um, that's when that promotion ends. Um, and they're, they're, you know, this program is never discounted. So this is a huge, um, huge opportunity um, to save money and participate on this amazing program. That's awesome. Andrew, did another question come up? No, Love the rempo. the rempo. Yeah, it's cool, right? We like getting a little bit outside of the box. Like, the la I I'll just share these strategies work. We don't just make them up like, hey, good luck with this. Like, we've got people on the ground doing these activities every single day. All right, folks, we'll have a great week. We'll look forward to being in business with you on Wednesday, March 14th, when we launch the program. And Paige, thank you and Matt so much. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Thanks, Andrea and Craig. Thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye.